Hello everyone. Uh, today I thought we would talk about a botanical that you could probably find in your own yard to use in your practice and that is purple dead nettle. So mine is rather large. You're going to find it right in your grass and so normally if you <laughs> uh, mow your lawn on a regular basis it's, you're probably only going to see this much of it, this little top portion. Uh, where this grows in my yard is along the fence line, and we don't bother knocking it down, so it gets taller. Now, you can find this pretty much anywhere in North America and uh, Europe. The Latin name for it is Lamium purpureum, and it's a dead nettle because it does not have those little hairs that attach to you and, and create that stinging se sensation that you get with stinging nettle. Also, it is not the same family as stinging nettle. It is actually, this one's actually in the mint family. So you can kind of see the leaf shape here. They kind of look like mint leaves a little bit. So medicinally, now again, make sure you do your research and don't ingest anything that you might be allergic to or that could have any in, uh, contraindications to any medicines that you're on. So definitely consult your doctors and your herbalists and your pharmacists before ingesting anything. But if you're just looking to use this spiritually, don't have to worry about that so much. Now, uh, as far as medicinally, though, it is uh, it does contain antihistamines and uh, antimicrobial properties, and an astringent and a styptic. So in the past, uh, folk healers would use this to help with bruises and cuts. They would mash the leaves, uh, muddle them, kind of like you would mint leaves for a mojito, and apply that directly to uh, the cuts and bruises to help uh, stop the bleeding and to keep the wound clean. Now, you can also, it is edible, uh, but again, very small quantities because it does uh, have a diuretic effect. You, it is a good source, though, of vitamins C, A, K, and it can be put in salads. I believe it also contains magnesium, but again, do your due diligence. I'm, I'm trying to re recall some of this from memory. Now, like I said, it does have that diuretic effect, so you don't want to be ingesting too much. It can really make you perspire, really bring on uh, a lot of urination, and even laxative effects. So be sparing in your use of this. Now, one thing that I thought was really interesting when I started doing a little more research on it, it is a, an annual plant, not a perennial, so it doesn't just automatically pop up every year in the same site. Once you've cut it, picked it, whatever, it's not going to grow back there. Uh, it has to have another uh, a seed drop there again for it, to, for it to come back the next year. So as far as magical uses, because this is such an early plant that we see in spring, I use it to brighten my day. We're coming out of that darker period. It's one of those first things that's greeting the sun uh, and that warmth coming in with spring. So I use it in that situation. So it could be for emotional healing. I could use it uh, for sympathetic healing as well uh, of, a, of a wound or something. Maybe someone's just not feeling well and that's what I, I can get readily. Of course, I've got this tied up ready to go for drying. So just put it, uh, hang it in a cool, dark place. You don't want a humidity. You don't want it getting all moldy. And then you can, once it's dry, store it in a, a jar for some time. So you have it through those winter months to use as well when we need to lift our spirits. It also has a grounding effect uh, because it is such a presence. It, it comes, even though it's not a perennial, we see it year after year. So it, it has that, that grounding, stabilizing quality to me. So I would use it uh, in that type of situation as well. 
it, you know, it just keeps popping up. It's a common weed. You know, we don't necessarily plant this. It is very pretty. These little tiny, these little tiny flowers. They don't really open up to much. And that one, I don't know if you can, if it's going to focus. Yeah, it's not going to focus you. It's, it's barely open. They don't open very much, but they just have that little tiny purple flower on top. Now, as far as the research that I could do uh, regarding this, I found that it was associated with the element of fire. And that might just be because it's in the mint family and it kind of create they have that association with, with heat. As far as the plant uh, planets, it's associated with Mars um, and the Archangel Michael. So if you're into doing any angel work, might be a good plant to work with if you're trying to call on Michael. Uh, now you can use the leaves themselves and, and the very tops. So this, this little section here. So don't use the stem. And so some different ways that I would probably use this in workings. If it was dried, I could uh, use an, a carrier oil of some type that worked with the working I'm trying to do and uh, coat a a candle, sprinkle some of this one there, or roll it in some of the dried herb. I could take some, again, some of that dried herb and put it in a spell bag of some type. Let's see. And then, like we talked about earlier, you could make a tea. It would be very strong. Um, I may not want to go that route, but again, consult the experts on that. Now, you could also, like we talked about, use it as well in food. But again, be very sparing. Let's see. You could, like I said, with the, the that dispelling negative uh, vibrations and, and bringing in that emotional healing, that, that uh, lifting of spirit, I would probably use this like in a spell pillow for when I'm sleeping. That way it's working with me subconsciously uh, overnight. Or like we talked about earlier, a spell bag where I could maybe put that in my purse, my pocket, something that it's with me all the time if I'm not, you know, if I'm kind of feeling a little down. So those are some different ways to look at some of the plants you have readily available in your yard. All right, everyone, if you're enjoying this, please give me a thumbs up. It does really mean a lot to me. And if you want more information, Stick around for the next video. Have a great day. Thanks for joining me. The Modern Sea Witch does not offer medical advice, only my experience from a magical perspective. Please do your research before working with any ingredient.